So what's it like to show up at Amicalola Falls and get ready to start your through hike? Stay tuned because you're going to find out. Amicalola Falls last weekend taking a wilderness first aid class. It was a great class from an organization called Knowles. I was not able to take video during the class, but I did get some great shots that I thought might be helpful for those of you who are thinking about starting a through hike or even get ready, getting ready to start this year to see what, uh, what the lay of the land is at Amicalola Falls when you show up to start your hike. The reason I wanted to take a wilderness first aid class is because um, hiking 2,000 miles, I figure the odds are pretty good that I might encounter somebody who needs a little bit of medical help. I actually haven't had first aid since I was in high school when I was a uh, swimming instructor and a lifeguard, so I had all of the Red Cross classes for CPR and water safety and that sort of thing, but pretty rusty in the years uh, that have passed, so it was time to brush up on those skills in preparation for my through hike. The class was put on by the Georgia Appalachian Trail Club and they run it this time of year so that their um, trail ambassadors who are similar to ridge runners but uh, unpaid volunteer positions uh, can get trained up before the hiking season starts. And I was really excited to see some folks that I know there as well as some of my uh, supporters here on this channel. So uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Jeff R. Thank you for watching. I know you've been a, a uh, a subscriber since the very beginning, so thank you. And also Jeff S., who le led uh, my very first backpacking trip, so I have him to blame for my uh, desire to hike the AT, but uh, it's all good. And also met some folks who have through hiked or done the 2,000 miles in section hikes, so it was great to just be able to kind of share uh, experiences and that sort of thing through the class. And also, last but not least, uh, met a new friend, Margaret, and she and her sister, uh, Bernie, are going to be through hiking as well. They don't have their trail names yet, but they'll be starting uh, in mid-February and doing their hikes. So I just want to give a shout out to them. If you guys are watching, best of luck to you. I hope you have a great hike. So uh, anyway, it was a wonderful experience. It was a good chance to learn both wilderness and um, kind of MacGyver techniques for first aid things that you can do to improvise when you need to, as well as uh, when you need to get somebody out. And uh, so it was a real good class. I'm happy to have those skills in my pack now, and uh, hopefully I won't have to use them, but if I do, I feel much pre more prepared. So it was a great class. And one thing I did get while I was there, a little souvenir that I'm very excited about, which is my AT Through Hiker badge for 2018. Even though I wasn't starting this weekend, I was able to drop in and pick one up because the ATC is not mailing them this year, even if you register online. Uh, at least that's what the ranger told me. So I was able to pick it up and I will have it on my bag when I start in North Carolina in a couple months. So I'm real excited about that. And uh, like I said, it was a good opportunity for me to get out and just poke around Amicalola and shoot some video that I can share with you. Uh, who've never been there before and are curious about what that experience is like when you have all those first day nerves of getting ready to start your through hike. So take a look. You have reached your destination. This is the lake at the base of the falls at Amicalola State Park. They are pretty much frozen right now. I know there's a lot of background noise here, but hopefully you can hear me. I just rolled into my wilderness first aid class and thought I would come up here and show you what the falls look like on a 17 degree day here in Georgia. It's a beautiful morning and uh, like I said, it's 17 degrees, so it's pretty cold. And I, what is it, today is the 7th of January. And I was just talking to one of the rangers yesterday. It's a two day class and I was here and stopped in the visitor center. And she said seven people have started the AT already this year, which is brave, <laughs> crazy, I don't know. But um, it's cold out. And I really just wanted to encourage you if you're thinking of starting this early, uh, know what the conditions are. You would be going up the stairs see it's 400 and so steps up the stairs just to get started on the approach trail and uh, don't come out here if you're not prepared I mean I was driving up from my house about an hour and it was down to 13 degrees 
17 here when I got to the falls, so really, really cold. Uh, it's been a good chance for me to test out some of my gear the past couple days, my clothing specifically, because um, my jacket, the one that I was wearing, my fleece, was not that warm, so I've got on the North Face today that I'm gonna try and see how it does. Uh, we're kind of inside, outside, doing exercises and that sort of thing, so um, it's good for me to see how my cold weather clothing is gonna do when I'm not hiking you know, straight through, because obviously you hike for several hours, but you also stop and you have the evening time and that sort of thing, and I wanna make sure that I'm warm regardless. So um, good chance for me to test out some of those things. I get a new hat. Got a balaclava to uh, try on when we're outside for some of the exercises and uh, just a good little bit of a shakedown at the same time that I'm doing the Wilderness First Aid, which I think is really important uh, because you never know what you might meet on the trail. People get hurt and I certainly want to be able to help as much as possible. Took a CPR class uh, in conjunction with this on Friday night, so I got certified in that and then I'll have a certification in Wilderness First Aid as well, which is nice. And uh, so anyway, that's what I'm up to. Um, later on when it's sunny and I have a lunch break, I'll shoot over and show you what the visitor center and the check-in looks like, uh, just in case you're curious about that. But uh, that's what I'm up to. Hope you're having a good January and staying warm. So if you're starting at Amicalola, doing the approach trail and you get here before or after the visitor center is closing, the visitor center is just right there holding those bushes. Uh, there is after hours check-in here. You just fill out your paperwork and submit it right here. This is the visitor center and this is where you would come to do your through hiker registration when the center is open. And you can walk around the side here. There is a little scale. Put <laughs> <laughs> your bag right there. And if you walk around the back side. You'll see something that is very well known. You can also come out those doors. And there is the famous arch. I have a nice photo here from the summertime and I probably won't get a photo when I start my through hike, but it's a nice place to come and commemorate the uh, beginning of the journey. There are multiple trails here at the park and if you choose to bypass the approach trail, you can take the top of falls trail which takes you up to the lodge and you can get back down that way or you can head this way just right outside the visitor center and start the approach trail. If you're looking for the very first shelter on the AT, if you're including the approach trail, the visitor center is right there. Playground is right there. And if we just swing around, there is the very first shelter. So if you're coming from out of town and you want a place to stay before you really hit the trail, you can stop right here. So this very first shelter is dedicated to Max Epperson. He was a tremendous volunteer who really loved the trail. And there's a beautiful little poem to him right here. It's just a nice small little shelter, fire ring out front, screen in front, a platform. I'm not sure how many it sleeps. I would say maybe six to eight probably. And from the shelter you can continue on. The approach trail kind of wraps around and through the park at the very first section, then takes you up the stairs from the base of the falls where I was this morning. Uh, and then you actually start climbing the mountain up towards Springer. It's a little over eight miles and most people make that the first day and then go on to Stover Creek or even Hawk Mountain if they're really ambitious. So I'm going to stop here. That's the little room where we're having our Wilderness First Aid class and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little brief tour of the very beginning of the AT.